Hey guys, Steve here with Muse Themes. Super excited today to show you a brand new widget called the Set More Appointment Booking Widget. Now what this widget does is it allows you to integrate the Set More system, which is available online, into your website, where customers can book appointments or schedule appointments with your various services or staff members. So this is an amazing system for businesses like personal trainers or massage therapists. Anyone who needs the ability for a customer to log on to their site, book an appointment, and for it to show up in one consistent calendar for all your staff. We've been working on this widget for a little while and we made it really flexible for you. So let me just first show you how it works. If you look on this page here, this is a little screen grab from our Vigor template, which is coming out soon, and it's for a personal trainer. We have this schedule your free consultation button, and if I click on that, it launches this light box pop-up. And this is the set more system in action. So the first step we have here is we choose our service. So right now we have a couple of services set up, a free consultation, cardio, full body fitness, and you can assign time blocks and costs to all of the services. So let's select pure cardio. Then we need to choose a provider. And this is where you'd set up all of your various staff in the set more system. So let's choose Colin. Once we choose our provider, it actually pulls up their schedule so we can see what their free appointments are. So let's say March doesn't work for us. We want to choose an appointment here on April 2nd. So it shows all of the remaining blocks that he has available for these appointments. We'll select one o'clock. Now all we need to do is fill in our name. So I'll just put in Steve Harris and then we can put in a phone number. I'll just put in something random here and we're done. If we have some comments, we can type something in and just click continue. So we get a little confirmation that says you're booking with this provider, this service for this day and time. And when you're good, you click book my appointment and it processes it in and the appointment is confirmed. So now on the set more side, you can log in and see a calendar that has all of the appointments booked on it and it's a really amazing system. So let me show you first how we set it up. So let's jump on the set more site here and I'm gonna start with a fresh account. So we'll just set one up with steve at visualarms.com. Okay, perfect. So we'll click create my account. Okay, so once the account has been created, set more walks you through a few logical setup processes. So you need to input your business name. So I'll just put Muse themes here. We'll make this as if we were doing a design consulting. So we'll computers and technology. Um, we need to put a phone number. Okay. Now let's go ahead and add some hours in. So what's our business hours? Well, of course, Monday to Friday, let's go eight to five. If you're a freelancer, these hours are probably 24 hours a day like us. Okay. Click next. And then we add our staff. So we have Steve Harris in there. Let's add Christopher Watson, who is our art director. He's Christopher at Muse Themes. Okay. Perfect. And then we'll add in Brandon Wallace here as another staff member. Okay, and we just enter in all their email addresses, add those in. Okay, perfect. So now we've added all of our staff in and let's click next. Now we have the services we wanna offer. So let's add something like branding. The time it takes to do, let's go 60 minutes and the price $50. Okay, now let's add website design. That's gonna take 120 minutes and cost $100. And we just keep clicking add and add in all the services we want to put in. Okay, I'm going to delete that sample one out. Let's just put one more in at widget development. And that's going to take 200 minutes at $200. Okay, now we have a couple services in. Let's click next. Okay, so we're ready to go with booking our appointments. So now that we're done, we can see the booking page, we can get the booking button, we can add staff and services, or we can view integration. So let's just go to the booking page here to start. And what the booking page here is, is basically it's a hosted page on the Setmore site where somebody can log in and choose services. And basically this would allow you to just link to this page rather than embedding it in your site. But when we go to this page, the important thing we need to note here is in the URL in the top, there is your calendar ID and it's just this last string of characters. And so it says FC68, blah, blah, blah. So let's just copy that for now. Now that we've done a basic setup on our widget, Let's go back to Muse and I'm going to create a new site. Okay. Once I have this new site, I'm going to drop in the set more widget that we have. I just downloaded this from the website. Okay. 
And you'll notice in the set more widget, the first option we have is the user ID. That's the string of characters that you saw in the URL. So I'm going to paste that in and just hit enter. And now we have some other options for actually setting up the button itself, which I'll do those after, but I'm just going to try this button. Let's preview it in the browser and we'll click book appointment. Okay. So you can see that it is actually linking to the Museums account that I just set up. So it's working perfectly. So let's go ahead and finish up in the set more side booking and adding some of these settings in. So I'm actually just going to close this and go back to the actual set more calendar here. And I'm going to go back to the ad staff and services. So when you're on the set more back end, you kind of get this layout where you have this sidebar menu on the left, you have different menus within. And if you just kind of click through all the various menus, you can see all the things you have to set up. So we can set all the different services that our staff provides. So let's say I provide all of the services, branding website, all that. Let's go Christopher, he provides website design and branding, okay? And then let's go ahead and set Brandon to provide widget development, perfect. Now you can set the various staff's working hours. So of course we are all working every day. So there you go. We can put in breaks, time off, all that sort of thing. Okay, so that all looks good. Now the tab below, we have services. If we wanted to add something else in there, I'm happy with how we set those up, so that's good. We can change notifications down here on the left. So we can actually send emails to the customers when the appointments are booked. You can have them notified of email or even by text message. Now text message is part of Setmore's premium package, which, which I think is very well priced as well, but for now we're just using the free one, so we won't bother with that. So you have all sorts of settings in here. Again, I won't go through everything, but I think everything is looking good in our account. And let's just go ahead and check out this widget again. So now when I click book appointment, now that I've added everyone into all those various services, you can see that we have the services I set up. We have the providers. Now you notice that myself and Christopher show up only for the branding services because I didn't add brand into that. So now we can go ahead and book a time. And of course we can select service as we had before. So it's working really well. So that's the setup on the set more side, but now let's look at what you can do in Muse with this button. So when I drag the widget onto the canvas and I look at the flyout menu, you can see that we have quite a few options for actually styling this button. You're not gonna change the user ID once you've put it in, but let's look at the embed style. So as you may note right now, you're launching the calendar in a pop-up. However, you can launch the calendar in a brand new tab. And let's just preview that and see how that looks. There, so now it just launches your actual calendar and this is that actual hosted page in a whole new tab. So it's a great way for you to do it without kind of impeding on your site design. Now the other options we have here are for the overlay background color. So the overlay is only going to show up if we have the embed style set at pop-up. So right now it's set to black. Of course, we could change this to something that's maybe a little bit more branded. So let's go with gray. We have the overlay opacity. This is right now set to 80% so we could go down to 0.5, which would be 50%. Okay, now we have button location. So we have embedded and pinned. And so if you want to do an embedded button, it means the button's just gonna show up wherever you've put it on your site. If you do a pinned button, important thing to remember is that you can see this note here that says only the default button style can be pinned. So the next option was to change the button style and we have it at default. So of course we can pin this button. So let's preview that in the browser and see how it looks. There, so now we have a nice sleek button on the side that says book now that actually launches that pop-up as well. And that will of course stay pinned to your browser window no matter what you're doing on your page or if you're scrolling up and down. So that looks great, but let's go back to the embedded button and let's take a look at the last two options, which is your button style. This is the default button that Setmore provides you with, but we wanted to give you the ability to change that button to have something a little bit more custom. So let's go custom button. And then we need to just create a state button and give it a graphic style name. So we've done this before with many of our other widgets. Let's go in our widgets library, select a state button. Okay, drag that out. I'm just gonna say book now in this button. And you know what, I'm gonna delete that circle. So that's it, I'll just make this button really simple for the purpose of this demo. And with the button selected, let's create a new graphic style and let's call it appointment. Okay, perfect. Now we'll go into the widget panel and you just need to put that graphic style name into the panel and hit enter there. 
So the last thing that I recommend is kind of line up this button and this widget. It's actually interesting. It will appear, the button will appear in your site where you have the widget, not where you have the button. So just make sure they're aligned at the top so that you can align it in the right spot. So let's preview this in the browser and make sure everything is working well. There, so the button shows up. Of course, we have an overstate. We click on it and it launches our appointment scheduling system. So that's it. There's a lot to it, um, but you know what? From a setup standpoint, it takes maybe five to 10 minutes to do it all. And it's a really, really great system for booking all of your appointments and calendars in. And on the set more side, you can actually share this calendar with all of your employees and you can see all of your employees' different schedules for the week. So it's a really awesome system. Have fun and let us know what you think. Thanks again.